Welcome to the Creekside Labyrinth. I'm Betty Kelsey, a member of Creekside. I'm standing in the back lawn of the church in front of the labyrinth. To my right is the prayer garden with its trickling stream and colorful flowers and trees. Behind me on the right is the memory wall and swings. And directly behind me is a maple tree with a bench underneath. You may wonder what a labyrinth is and why it's here at Creekside. Historically, the labyrinth is reminiscent of religious pilgrimages. Centuries ago, Muslims made pilgrimages to worship at the sacred city of Mecca, and Jews made pilgrimages to the temple in Jerusalem. But the travel was often long and dangerous and was possibly only for the wealthy. Labyrinths were built to make pilgrimages possible without leaving home. The first was built in 1225 in Chartres, France, on the floor of a cathedral. It had 11 circuits laid out in four quadrants. The labyrinth at Creekside is more circular in shape with seven circuits. Considered a place for prayer and reflection, the labyrinth is a symbol of life's journey. Unlike a maze, it's a simple path that winds around to a center point, then returns back to the beginning by the same path. I invite you to experience this virtual labyrinth now. But first, let me make some suggestions. As you stand at the entrance of the Creekside Labyrinth, you will see a rock embedded in the ground about five steps in on the path. Enter the labyrinth and stop at that rock. What is it you want to reflect on as you walk? Are you celebrating something? Are you looking for direction and wholeness? Do you need to let go of something that hampers your life? Do you feel drawn to spiritual clarity and connection with God? Or do you simply need space and silence to listen to yourself? Determine the focus of your pilgrimage before you move on. As you walk toward the center, consider how this winding path represents the ebb and flow of life and how your perspective changes with the twists and turns of your journey.
When you reach the center point, take a seat on the rock. Listen to the sounds of nature around you. Relax and feel at peace with nature and with God. What insight has your focus given you so far? When you are ready, return the way you came, savoring that sense of oneness and discovery and peace. Now you are back at the embedded rock, back where you began. Pause there and consider if there's a word that describes your labyrinth walk. You may conclude with this prayer. Lord God, like this labyrinth journey, the path of life is not straight. But in the ebb and flow of life and the twists and turns of our journey, we are gifted to see life from different perspectives and we learn to trust you in all circumstances. Thank you for being our silent companion. As we leave this place of reflection, may we face job and relationships with a renewed spirit we pray with gratitude for your guiding hand. Amen.